Arthritis Unpacked is an independent patient education resource supported by Janssen. The information provided is for educational purposes and does not replace advice from your healthcare professional. Paul Bird is an experienced rheumatologist and researcher dedicated to the expert management of patients with all forms of arthritis and rheumatic disease. As well as caring for patients in his clinical practice, he continues to undertake arthritis research with fellow Australian rheumatologists and with international colleagues, ensuring he is up to date with the most recent medical advances. Welcome to Arthritis Unpacked, a video series designed to help you understand your arthritis better and help you get the best out of your treatment. Join me, Dr Paul Bird, an arthritis specialist, which is also known as a rheumatologist, as together we unpack your arthritis baggage, helping you navigate the maze of arthritis terms and treatments. Arthritis without the jargon, arthritis made simple, arthritis unpacked. Thanks for helping me, Doc. I'm feeling much better. But hey, what type of arthritis have I got again? I've been an arthritis doctor, also known as a rheumatologist, for over 20 years, and you would not believe how many times I hear that question from patients. And that's not the fault of the patient sitting across from me. Some of it's on me because even though I think I can communicate, I clearly don't get the message across all of the time. But that problem is also about the sheer complexity of arthritis terms. That question, hey doc, what type of arthritis have I got again, prompted me to think about how best to help people just like you and your family understand arthritis. And that's what this podcast is about. It's about unpacking the complex terms making it simple, easy to follow, providing a way through the confusion. Arthritis is one of the biggest health problems in the world and the leading cause of disability. If we live long enough, most of us are going to be affected by it. And if we're not, we are sure going to know someone who is. So it pays to understand what arthritis really means. If we can get that understanding straight, It'll help you and the people helping you get much more out of your treatment and better understand the information from your doctor and healthcare professionals. Let's talk about arthritis, the bare bones of your joints, the starting point for understanding arthritis. As an arthritis specialist, my job is to help people understand their diagnosis and to help them get on the path to recovery. And that means helping them to navigate the complex web of terms and jargon that comes with having arthritis. Those of you who have arthritis would be well versed with the response you get when you tell people you've got arthritis. The person usually looks blankly at you or with disbelief. You're too young to have arthritis. Then they might tell you that their grandfather or their mother has arthritis. Then they may offer you some helpful advice. Sound familiar? And you might even ask yourself after such a conversation, what type of arthritis do I have? And this is really important. Because once you know what you have, the diagnosis, that can empower you, with a little help from your health professionals, to find the correct pathway out of the labyrinth. It means you have a plan, you know what to expect, you can find the treatments that will work for you, and when you get asked that question next time, you'll be in a position to educate that person. To understand arthritis, we need to do some unpacking. By unpacking, I mean we unpack the terms take out the jargon, unpack the treatments and look at them one by one so that you can understand what's happening. To begin with, I want to tell you about a couple of my patients. Jeff is 65 and he has sore knees. He's in excellent health, but his knees are sore when he walks around the golf course, hurt getting out of the car and he's taking anti-inflammatories to try and control the pain. Here's a second person, Emily. She's 35 years old, and after she had her first baby, all of her joints swelled up at once. I mean literally all of them. And overnight, so that she couldn't move or get out of bed. She was nauseated and so exhausted that she could barely look after her children and her family. Yeah, Emily has arthritis as well, but how can that be right? Both people have symptoms involving their joints, right? But both have got completely different symptoms and yet they're both called arthritis. How does that work? Well, that's part of the confusion surrounding this condition. 
How do we begin to understand that two people with completely different symptoms can have arthritis? Well, this is where we start unpacking. And to do this, we've got to do some building first. Come on, it won't take long. I just want you to help me build the joint. Then you can understand how arthritis affects the joint and that's going to form the building blocks. So take a deep breath and follow me. Let's start with the knee. You likely have two of them and it's a pretty classic joint that we all know and love. Now the first thing you need in any joint are bones. If you haven't got the bones then you haven't got a joint. In any joint there are usually two bones and that's certainly the case in the knee joint. The top one called the femur, bottom one's called the tibia. There's another little bone in there called the fibula, but let's leave that out for now to keep this simple. So, femur at the top, tibia at the bottom. Kneecap, or we call patella, on the front, and there you have it, the bones of the knee joint. Now remember, if you've got a knee joint, it is gonna work and bend hundreds of times a day, thousands of times in a week, millions of times in a year. So those bones are gonna wear each other out in no time. So let's put a cushion in between the bones. Right, let's put in a cushion of what we call cartilage. Cartilage is the cushion between the bones. What about some lubricant? We can't have that knee trying to move like that all day, just grinding against itself without some fluid in there. So let's put in some fluid. And this is the third really important part of the joint, the synovium. I'll spell it for you. S-Y-N-O-V-I-U-M. Synovium is a tissue paper lining. Imagine it sort of coating the inside of the joints all over and producing a small amount of oily lubricant fluid every day. In fact, if you take the stuff out of the joint and look at it, it's oily and smooth. Just perfect to make sure that that joint can move without friction. And if you had enough of it to fix a rusty gate. Okay, we're getting there. Bones, cartilage, cushion, synovium, and synovial fluid for lubrication. Oh wait, but before we go on, better join these bones together with something so they don't fall apart. We call these ligaments. Ligaments join bones to bones. And the last thing we need is some muscles to move, otherwise it's just gonna sit there. And there it is, a joint. It's the same pattern throughout the body. Shoulder, elbow, ankle. Bones, cartilage cushion, synovium, and lubricant fluid ligaments to hold it together, and muscles to make it move. Now that you understand how a joint is built, I pronounce you proficient, let's talk about where arthritis affects the joint. You will hear people say that there are over a hundred types of arthritis. Don't worry, I'm not gonna test you. While that's true, let's unpack that to make it easier. Most types of arthritis fall into two main categories. The first type affects the cushion, the cartilage in the joint. Over time, the cushion or cartilage wears down, the bones start to get closer together, and in the end, the bones rub on each other. This is mechanical or wear and tear arthritis. We usually know it as osteoarthritis, the most common type of arthritis. If you play a lot of sport, you might be more prone to it, and you might know someone who's had a joint replacement or osteoarthritis, so that's a pretty simple concept, right? Cartilage wears down, over time bones get close together, and then you get to crunch, crunch, crunch. And crunch, crunch, crunch hurts, hurts, hurts. Usually it affects older people like Jeff, whose knees are hurting when he plays golf. The pain usually gets worse after you exercise, and although the pain can be bad, the person generally doesn't feel exhausted or have other symptoms of being sick. The second category affects the lining of the joint, the synovium the lining that produces the lubricant fluid in the joint. This other type we call inflammatory arthritis. In all of these types, the same thing happens to the synovium. Rather than being nice and thin, it swells up, gets boggy and sick and starts spewing out lots of fluid into the joint. The joint swells up and in most of these inflammatory types of arthritis, it won't hit one joint, it'll hit lots of joints at once, targeting the synovium. Inflammatory arthritis can happen in a number of ways. In contrast to mechanical arthritis or osteoarthritis, in, in inflammatory arthritis the joint or joints are usually stiffer after resting or in the morning and they improve a bit with exercise. Also the person feels exhausted, sick and generally unwell. 
Included in this category are things like rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, systemic lupus erythematosus or lupus, just to name a few of the more common types of inflammatory forms of arthritis. One of the most common forms of inflammatory arthritis is rheumatoid arthritis, where lots of joints swell at once, like Emily experienced, and it affects younger people. That's how both Jeff and Emily can have arthritis. Jeff has osteoarthritis, Emily has rheumatoid arthritis. Both affect the joint or joints, but in entirely different ways. And that's why arthritis can be so confusing. Both people have arthritis, but the illness affects them both in very different ways. As we go along in these videos, I'm going to unpack all of these different types of arthritis, but I'm going to rely on you to keep in mind those concepts that we've just gone through. The concept of how a joint is put together and how different types of arthritis can affect different parts of the body and different joints in the body. The next Arthritis Unpacked episode deals with rheumatoid arthritis, one of the types of arthritis that affects the synovium. This is one of the inflammatory types of arthritis and a really important one as it affects as many as one in a hundred people and most of these people are young. I'm Professor Paul Bird and this is a video series all about arthritis. Without the jargon, arthritis made simple. Arthritis unpacked.